Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how all the animals are doing since I haven't showed you guys them in about a week. So basically this video is going to be an update slash vlog style which is a little different for this channel but hopefully it will be interesting to you guys and I'll also be giving you guys a haul of all the souvenirs I brought home from vacation last week which is a little bit into my personal life which I usually don't do but I want to do for you guys for this video so I hope you really enjoy it and let's get right into the video. So I would like to start off with my leopard gecko Toast. He's the newest member of the family and he did really well while I was gone on vacation. He actually ate really well for my parents and he's such a good boy. I can't believe he did so well since he can be pretty finicky and picky like most leopard geckos. But as you can see, his cage changed quite a bit. A big change happened yesterday when I cleaned out his cage. I finally decided to switch him to a loose substrate. He used to be on paper towels for a couple months since I had him, which was kind of his quarantine period. But now I finally gave him a loose substrate because leopard geckos love to dig. Um, and Eagle Earth is a great digging substrate. There are a lot of pros and cons and controversy in the reptile community, and I'm well aware of this, and I have done the research, and I have researched the pros and cons, and for me personally right now, the pros outweigh the cons, and I want to make a completely separate video on this topic of substrate for leopard geckos because it's very complicated and a long story. So I will make a separate video on that if you want to know more information about Eagle Earth and why there are benefits to it and just loose substrate in general, and then also the negatives to using Eagle Earth and how to make Eagle Earth safe for a leopard gecko, because just normal Eagle Earth all throughout the cage is not safe. You can notice I'm using a granite slab over here, and that is for a reason that I'll explain in the video. I also gave him some cute seashells. Those are actually from the beach. Um, where I went on vacation, Placing. so I threw out his cage to add a little beachy look, and I just love loose substrate. It's so much better than paper towels when done correctly because he's digging, he's so much happier, and it looks so much more natural, so I'm really happy with this. So that's really all that happened for my leopard gecko toast, but I definitely wanted to include this segment in the video. I also forgot to mention that toast is just in his humid hide right in there, and he's such a sweet boy, and he's still super tame. I Now onto my hamster moose. As you can see, I also cleaned his cage yesterday. His it had cage been is looking amazing. I changed it a little bit. So I changed it back to his multi-chamber hide and I removed the eco earth and gave him a sand pit instead. Okay, so as you can see, it's a bit messy in here because I haven't spot cleaned since last night and I cleaned it yesterday. So I'm gonna spot clean after this video probably. But as you can see, I changed his cage a bit. Still his wheels in the same place, his nesting area is the same place. He has the same hides and chew toys. But I gave him a few more chew toys. I gave him this container that Eco Earth, I um, just a smaller little area because he loves digging for mealworms, freeze dried mealworms in Eco Earth. So I gave him that. But I gave him a sand pit instead of Eco Earth, which I think he is going to love because he's never really had a big pit of sand like this. I used like a whole bag of sand, <laughs> repti sand, but it's okay. And I moved his water bottle from this um, industrial velcro port to this one just so he had more space to drink since he has a bendy bridge that goes into it. And then he has a night angel ladder burrowing starter that goes up to his chamber hide. And he has a new toy that I got in the last Here, video. It's not natural last. and I think he'll like it. I haven't seen him use it yet, but it was like this last night and this morning it was like this. So he went on it, which is adorable. I gave him back a little bowl. I actually gave a board and breaker in there. It's just seeds and some toilet paper. But... This bowl is just for lab blocks, that's why it's so small, but I think it matches the white in his wheel. And also, I also gave him some forage from the haul video as well. But yeah, not a lot changed, I just think it looks a lot more enriching. Also, this is the bamboo stick from the video. It's super cool. I haven't seen him chew on it yet, but I hope he will. I gave him sphagnum moss um, for the first time. I usually use pillow moss, but sphagnum moss is a very similar and also safe um, dried moss to use with hamsters. And so I think he's really loving that. He also that. has this I'm new bowl that I, or plate that I got like a while ago, but I think it's super cute. It has little birds on it. And if anyone knows what type of birds these are, please comment down below, because I'd love to know. I think, I can't tell. Nope, I don't know what they are. <laughs> I also put some of this sphagnum moss up here, and it's very similar to pillow moss if you're wondering, but nothing really changed with Moose while I was gone. He did really well as well. He ate everything. He actually came out for treats from my mom, so that's really good. And he's doing really good. He's at a good weight, so is Toast, and they're just really healthy. 
Lastly for the update for the animals is of course my little birdies. They are very good and doing very well. They're getting up there in age, but they did really well while I was on vacation. They don't do that much, so they are very good. <laughs> But yeah, they always are right there. Really well. Oh. I gave them some boredom breakers yesterday when I cleaned their cage. Okay guys, now on to the souvenir haul, which is what I'm most excited for. Because nothing really happened with my animals, which is what you want to have happen. Is nothing when you're gone on vacation. It went really smoothly, so I'm really happy that it went so smoothly. And if you want more tips on what to do with your animals when you go on vacation, my last video is all about that. So that will be in the description. And I also want to just say thank you to my parents for letting me go on vacation with my friend and to my friend for making vacation so awesome. It was really fun with you and you're literally the best friend ever. And I am sitting in front of my hamster and gecko cage on the floor because all my souvenirs are on the floor. After this video, I can finally put all my souvenirs, like disperse them everywhere, but I kept them all in a pile for you guys. I also wanted to quickly mention that Moose's sand bath, if you guys remember, it was like a jar. So cute, a big jar. I loved it so much. It sadly cracked while I was away and my mom found the crack when she was putting new sand in it. Thank you to my parents, by the way, for being amazing and helping out with all my animals while I was gone. They were the caretakers and they did amazing and all my animals did very well and thrived while I was gone so thank you to you guys but my sand bath it cracked my mom found like a big crack in it and had to throw it away so I had to replace it with that other sand bath um, but I like this one better anyways so it's fine but let's get right into this okay hole. so first we have this necklace that my friend gave to me I was wearing it like every single day on vacation and then at the end of vacation she was like just keep it because she never wears it and she didn't want it anymore so I was like thank you so much so thank you again to my friend Thank you. And then, and then, and then next we have a bunch of pamphlets. So first yes. I have um, two pamphlets that are just coaster guides. I'm not going to show them because I don't want you guys to know where I want a vacation for privacy. But I will show you guys the other two pamphlets that I brought home. So we happened to stop at Pet Supplies Plus in a completely different state. And I was like, this is the best opportunity I've ever had. Because I already have two pamphlets from my local uh chain pet store that's near me that I get a lot of my stuff from. So I decided to pick up two more. Um, these are just dwarf and Syrian hamster uh, pet care guides because one of my future videos is going to be going over just some chain, some very common chain pet stores uh, pet care guides on hamsters and leopard geckos and I can't wait for that video. These upset me a lot but I did want to grab some of these that they had printed out and just like for anyone to grab. So I grabbed two of these which is very nice. And then the next thing that I brought home was this necklace which I found and it is a shark tooth necklace. It's my first one. My friend had a bunch and I just wanted to get my first one but it's super cool. We also found a shark tooth too actually. Um, so this is the necklace I got. I think it's really cute. Then the next thing that I brought home was this adorable little um, bowl. I think I already posted a picture of this on my community tab but this is the cutest thing ever. But I got I actually, of course, my hamster moose because I love collecting um, dishes for him. I have so many, like, right down here. It's, like, a really bad addiction. I have so many. I don't need this many. I don't use, like, over half of them. But it's okay because they're so cute. But this is a really cute, like, turtle, um, like, dish. And I could use it for my jewelry, I suppose. But I think I might still use it for my hamster because it's literally just ceramic. Then next we got, I'm going to cover up where we got went but next I got this really cute wooden turtle that matches with my friend's wooden turtle mine's name is lemon and hers is lime because it's green and yellow and she loves limes and I love lemons and isn't she adorable she's adorable I love her the stuffed animals that I got because I got three stuffed animals because I am a major like sucker for adorable stuffed animals so the first one that I got was a hamster, I assume, and I want to say it's a hamster, and it is a hamster because I'm saying it's a hamster, so it is a hamster. Don't you dare comment that it's a gopher, gopher or something. But it's one of those like warmies. Anyways, they're really cute. And you can put them in like a microwave to warm them up, and they smell like lavender. This one smells like lavender. I'm not going to put them in the microwave because on the tag it specifically says that when you put them in the microwave too many times, it could burn the stuffed animal, and if it burns, you have to throw it away, and I'm like, I'm never going to want to throw away a hamster stuffed animal, so I'm never going to put him in the microwave in the first place. But he is a hamster, and I'm going to get more hamsters that are stuffed animals, hopefully, because hamsters are my favorite animal, and I love stuffed animals, so it just go it just makes sense. But he's super cute, and he's actually huge, and he's pretty heavy. He has, like, beans in him, and I need name suggestions. I already have two ideas, and that is Goliath, because he's a giant of a hamster, and then also Lavender, because he smells like lavender if it's a girl. But just like comment down below some name suggestions, because he's so cute, and he smells so good. <sighs> smells like 
so good, but not as good as my actual hamster. <laughs> Moose smells amazing. The next thing, the next two things I got were something that I feel like TikTok made us buy. We went crazy when we found these at a random gift store because they're not really in the States. They're based in London, so they're very rare to see in the States, for me at least, and they're very pricey because of that, but I got two jelly cats, and I'm like, oh, I can't believe I got jelly cats. If you don't know what they are, they're like really cute stuffed animals that everyone on TikTok raves about, but, and just your proof, these are jelly cats. Um, this one is a bashful bunny, and I always see these guys, and they're so cute, and this one is in dusky blue, and I just love the blue color on this dude, he's so cute, and he has like this cute little pink nose, and I, he's so cute, I'm so thankful to have this dude, I'm not gonna mention the price though, because I don't know how people who have like a whole shelf full of jelly cats aren't broke, they're either broke or they're really rich, but super cute, and then the other one I got, um, don't ask how much this one was, because of the size, uh, Whaley the Whale, blue theme I feel like with my jelly cats but I just had to get him because he's so small and I found him and he was like the cheapest one but he was not cheap enough he was so cute and he has a jelly cat and I love their baby little black eyes and I do need name suggestions for these two as well I mean I guess his name is Whaley but this one cannot be called bashful so I need a name uh, name suggestions for him and him or her and her I don't really know uh, but just comment down below because I love that then the last thing I brought home, because I told you the souvenir haul isn't that big, because I just like getting small little things that mean something to me. I also got stuff for my family members, but I already gave that to them, so I'm not going to show you guys that, because it's like personal. But then the other thing I got was a bunch of shells from the beach, some of which are already in my leopard gecko tank. I didn't give any to Moose, because I don't really, they're kind of small, and there's just not that much space for it in his cage, because he has so many chew toys and things like that, and he already has rocks to scratch his nails down on, so I didn't give him any, but just a bag full of shells, and they're all really pretty, and I'm going to find the shark tooth and show that to you guys real quick, but I'm not going to show you each shell, because that would take like hours, and this is already too long of a video, as usual. Okay, for some reason I'm sweating, probably the sweatpants, but I found my shark tooth, and it's like this little black thing. Oh. See, it's a shark tooth. That's what they look like. So, without further ado, this wraps up this week's video. I had so much fun filming it. I had so much fun going on vacation last week and taking a little break away as well because of my best friend. She is amazing. She's the kindest person ever, and she's one of my biggest supporters, other than like my family, for this channel and just for me being me as a person so thank you so much she's amazing i'm so thankful that you came into my life i'm also thankful for all of you guys who are also my biggest supporters and also so thankful that this channel happened um thank you to all of you guys who have helped me reach 200 subscribers in a matter of days that's insane i am so extremely blessed i love you all so much i'll see you guys in next week's video make sure you subscribe like and comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.